Texas style barbecue the day before my birthday. We already getting ready. We prepping some chicken. I got some brisket on now. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all. Run out of pans, but we're gonna do it this way. Of course. Awesome. I bought this bottle right here that way I can squeeze it up in there. Make it look real nice. Brisket's looking good. Chicken ready to be wrapped. Yeah, it's looking real good. That's authentic barbecue right there. Put these, all of them in here. People always ask me about uh, how long I keep this chicken in here. I basically just go off of the way the skin is looking and the color of it. That's how I go off when I'm gonna wrap it or not. This chicken pretty much done. You get that skin nice and crispy when you have that fire real hot. I'm rolling these briskets, so I was setting it about 300. And I set this chicken in the back. That's all you do is hit it up. Texas style. Awesome barbecue sauce in the bottle. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm telling you. You'll never forget this chicken. Never. Yeah, if I just use this, and I'll wrap all this up together. I'm leaving it up for about 45 minutes or so. I don't wonder where it's falling off the bones, but that chicken is dry out real quick as another one. taste that one. See what that one tastes like. Nice bro. Yeah, that shit's rolling hot today. So, I'll be back in about 45 minutes. If you hadn't ordered the awesome barbecue sauce, the website is available. And you could go on there and pick you up a bottle or a few bottles, you know what I'm saying? And that leg, mm, they really didn't even need wrap. But that's how my kids like them. I'm out. <laughs>